guys, I just flew into the kitchen and the sun is going down. So we're gonna do a really quick weeknight meal, but it's really, really good. Um, let's see, I've got chicken breast in this package. Before I start touching all over that, I wanna do a few things. And we'll get started. So we are gonna get us a meal out really quick. Very quick, but very good. And it's all fresh ingredients too, so that's even better. None of that processed stuff, right? We're still gonna be feeding the family good. And we also want quick cleanup, so I'll put some heavy duty foil on this big old sheet pan. Y'all see that? Okay, now I'm gonna get me some barbecue sauce. This is my homemade barbecue sauce, but you can use your favorite, okay? So don't think you gotta go homemade some barbecue sauce real quick, okay? <laughs> Don't think you gotta do that. That will not be quick week night, will it? All right, and I'm gonna pour about what I think I need. Mm, that's just gonna, that's gonna finish it up because I don't wanna put back is what I'm saying because I'm gonna be touching chicken. Got me a brush. First thing I'm gonna do is get these chicken breasts onto this pan. The oven is preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice and hot for a quick weeknight meal, right? So I'm just gonna be getting these chicken breasts right out of here. Try not to get too dirty. I'm gonna start on one end, just like this. Addie is at horse riding lessons. Bryson's been going in and out. He is riding the four-wheeler and just hanging after school. Y'all know how that is. And John is coming in the back door from work, so it is crunch time for supper, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, y'all. First, I want to salt and pepper them just really quickly. We'll have plenty. If you've got any left over, you can have them on a sandwich later in the week for lunch. Or just some shredded barbecue chicken. A snack, a lunch, but we probably won't have any left over tonight. And of course, you don't have to do such a big pan, right? That's just us. Okay, first thing I wanna do is get this chicken cooking in the oven because it's got to go the longest. So I am painting it with this wonderful barbecue sauce. This was my mother's recipe for barbecue sauce. And I kind of revised it here and there through the years, but I still give her the credit for teaching me how to make homemade barbecue sauce. She said, I ain't getting here. And then she tell me, don't this and don't that. You just did what she said. You did what mama said. Y'all know, did y'all have a mama like that? You didn't say why. You don't say why. The kids do that a lot these days, don't they? Okay, so these need to cook for probably 10 minutes or so and get a jump start. So let me put these in the oven and we'll be right back. And I am right back. Now I'm gonna say this because we're gonna put those chicken breasts and we're gonna paint them again with that sauce. I got fresh corn. If you want to go even quicker, get you some frozen corn, okay? So I'm gonna go wash these. I'm also going to wash and peel some potatoes. And I will see you back very shortly. Y'all don't go anywhere. Okay, y'all, I've got my corn washed, and I've got me about four large bacon potatoes. Peeled and washed. So now I'm chopping them. And if I had sweet potatoes, wouldn't that be good with barbecue chicken breast? I think so, too. I'd probably do a little combination of both. I know I'll do the sweet potatoes like this with pork chops and maybe some green beans. I think I've done that with y'all before. So yeah, that would be good now. You could do some of both if you wanted to. And I waited to chop these and peel these till I got on here with y'all because we don't want to turn brown, right? No, we don't. If you did this the night before, you could put water on them and put them in the refrigerator and then drain them. So if you had prep time the night before, you still can do your potatoes. Just put them in some water. That'll babysit them for you. All right, guys. 
our kiddos home so really quickly and that's why they're all here with us right now and they are working on purchasing another that we're all excited about closer back to home so this mama's real excited about that but i am really enjoying kids and grandkids back here at the house it's it's a good thing i talked to my preacher's wife cynthia she's a friend of mine hey cynthia she said um she cried both times her kiddos have been building homes and selling homes. She says she cried both times when they moved out. <laughs> That's going to be me too, right? I know. Aren't we silly things? Okay, into this, I want to do a whole bunch of salt. You could do some smoked paprika if you wanted to. As a matter of fact, let's do that. Why not? I can't think of a reason why not. Can y'all? Let the grandbabies and they say, Grandma, what is that that's red on potatoes? Maybe not. This olive oil hardly lets any out, so that's why it's seeming like forever. But that's olive oil. You could do butter if you wanted to. But I'm doing butter on the corn, so I thought I'd go a little, a little different here on the potatoes, you know? You know, it's something different. All right. And that salt shaker hardly gives off any salt. And you know, these potatoes, they're going to need some salt. So we're going to do them like that. And then we're just going to toss them about. And they're going to be ready. Just like that. Ooh, those are going to be good. I already smell that smoked paprika, guys. Okay. Having the grandbabies here reminds me of being a young mom and my kids sitting here doing homework while I was cooking supper after work. I worked out of the home at our veterinary clinic, so I was doing this same thing in the evening. Okay, guys, I love these oil sticks. This is a big time flavor, okay? And I've got me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ears of corn. I got these fresh, but seriously, if you've got a big package of frozen ones, do that. That'll be a great, great, great time flavor too. Yes, it will. Are y'all counting for me? Because I am not counting. <laughs> See how many? See how many that is. All right. So I'm just gonna put an ear of corn on each. I just saw these fresh in the store, and I grabbed them up, knowing I was gonna do this for a quick meal with y'all. Put them out here. Four. Y'all remember that Mexican street corn bake I did that time? We put all kinds of stuff and put some parm cheese and some butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what we're doing right now. We're doing it a little bit faster. It's just going to be butter and some parm the salt and pepper. And it's going to be oh so good. I was one shy, guys. One shy. There we go. All right, we got all our corns out here. Now, did I bury the butter? Here it is. I got butter, stick of butter. We're just gonna do a pat on each one of our ears of corn. Pat above. I think, what did we do? Did we paint those with mayonnaise first? Ooh, they were good. I'm talking about big time good. I'll have to link that in here since I keep talking about that street corn type corn we did that time. As much or as little butter as you want to. Y'all see, just that fastly we got that. Now I've got salt again. I'm gonna salt each one of them just kind of lightly because that parmesan is also gonna be a bit salty. So you don't need 10, you don't need 10 tons of it, do we? All right. Let's get us some pepper a going. We are on the clock, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, and I've got Parmesan. This is the quick weeknight, right? We don't have time for grating, right? No, no, no. Y'all know we do that when we have time. And I'm just putting this on here. And it's, oh, so good. It's that salty little bite, but flavorful, salty flavor. It already smells wonderful. Okay, guys. I'm going to roll it up. I like to try to roll mine a little loosely up top so it doesn't stick on my 
cheese doesn't stick to the foil, but you roll it however you want to, and nobody will say a word, all right? I see how fast we're getting this done. I know. Right at the end of cooking all this, I usually turn it on broil to let it get crispy bits on the potatoes and kind of broil the top of that corn. Let me get our chicken out. It's time to flip and put the rest of the stuff in there. I'll be right back. Looking good. Let me get my flipper. Put my flipper in the dishwater. I do that all the time. I know I tell y'all I do that all the time to myself. All right, I'm going to flip these over. Mm, they smell good too. With my mama's barbecue sauce on them. Need something to hang on to my little pan. There we go. Now let's paint this other side. The other side. And what we're looking for now, because our corn and, and potatoes, they'll get done in probably 20 more minutes. On these chicken breasts, depending on how thick they are or what piece you use, we're looking for an internal temp of 165 degrees, okay? So have you a little thermometer if you are concerned about the degrees, because I get it. Yes, I do. We don't like raw chicken, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, guys. All right, all y'all get together. We've got to have room for this corn and the potatoes. I'm trying to line all my corn up over here. Corn, corn, corn. I guess I can kind of stack it a little bit. Just a little bit. Put one end on the end. All right, about like the Waltons. we got to all get in there, don't we? Okay, guys, now our taters. I'm just gonna pour them right here. Yum! All right, back into the oven we're going. Guys, can y'all see what I did? I opened my corn up after a while and I put it under the toaster. Can y'all see the toasty bits on that Parmesan? Yum! And I had to spread it out on another pan so it's a two-sheet pan dinner. We can still deal with that, right? Yeah. Let me go get that chicken. I'm going to broil it in the potatoes just a minute. I'll be right back. Now I'm broiling both sides of this chicken and painting. I paint some more barbecue sauce each time and we are about ready to eat. Look at him. I like him. John will be fighting us over him. He's got toasty bits. That's mine. That's yours? That's mine. The whole family's come in, we're waiting. Well, Addie's not back from horse riding lessons yet, but any moment. So, we're on the downhill camp. Yeah. Yum. Oh. Yeah. Come here, Mike. Come on around here, baby. Two, two, Dear Father, I just thank you so much for this meal, for this time, Lord. Please just watch over us, be with the people in our prayers, our nation. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. We are getting ready to eat, and I will see y'all soon. That's, that's my right. <laughs> <laughs>